Good afternoon. Um, Ireland, Estonia and France are deeply concerned by the reported test of a submarine launched ballistic missile by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea on October 18th. We firmly condemn this provocative action, which constitutes a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions. We welcome today's discussion at the Security Council and the Council's continued attention to the DPRK's ongoing nuclear and missile activities and other WMD programs, which represent a serious threat to regional and international peace and security. Monday's launch forms part of a pattern of provocations by the DPRK. In recent weeks, it has conducted a series of launches, including of short-range ballistic missiles, long-range cruise missiles, and what has been claimed to be a hypersonic glider. This new SLBM launch underlines the continued enhancement of the nuclear and ballistic program of the DPRK, which has stated its ambition to ultimately acquire sea-based nuclear capabilities. The panel of experts working on the DPRK has continuously highlighted these efforts. We urge the DPRK to comply fully with its obligations under Security Council resolutions. The DPRK must immediately end its destabilizing actions and take concrete steps to abandon its ballistic missile, other WMD and nuclear programs in a complete, verifiable and irreversible manner. These launches clearly demonstrate the need for the full and effective implementation of UN sanctions, as well as the urgent need to address sanctions evasion by the DPRK. We call on the international community to comply with the obligation to strictly enforce these sanctions, including by reporting on their implementation in accordance with the resolutions adopted by the Council. We continue to urge the DPRK to engage meaningfully with the United States and the Republic of Korea's at repeated efforts, offers of dialogue towards achieving lasting peace, security and stability on the Korean Peninsula as well as in the wider region. There is no other way to achieve peace, security and stability on the Korean Peninsula. Thank you. I mean, I think the first thing the Security Council is doing is convening today to discuss this. That's a very important issue. You heard the range of uh, concerns that we have. Certainly Ireland, France and Estonia wanted to highlight that to all of you today. Uh, it's not the first time we've met in recent weeks. This is, I think, our third meeting. Um, and we will continue to draw attention to this. We see this as risking stability on the Korean Peninsula. We'll continue to say that. Ambassador, you, you um, want North Korea to change its behaviour. But at the same time, there are many voices calling for an easing of sanctions, including the UN Special Rapporteur on North Korea, because of the threat of starvation. Does that complicate things for you? I think what we need to see is the all UN Security Council resolutions respected. We have all signed up to those resolutions at the Security Council. DPRK is not respecting the international law and is putting the security of the region and its own people at risk. Thanks. Thank you very much. Excuse me? Do you think the UN should take a greater role in trying to get talks going again? I think uh, the UN, basically the Security Council in this case, I think we have been urging the DPRK to comply with our measures since 20, 2006. And this is what we are uh, doing again, uh, comply with, with our resolution in a view uh, to get back to the negotiating table and to resolve this issue. I think uh, we are f confronted with a growing threat the ballistic program of DPRK is developing. The nuclear program is developing as well. Uh, as I speak to you, 
they continue to enrich more and more uranium. Uh, their centrifuges are spinning around. So uh, we are confronted with a growing threat to international peace and security, to the non-proliferation regime, to the Southeast Asia, to the world. And uh, we are very concerned and we should uh, be ready to take action. A follow-up to what Michelle just said. In recent years, the Security Council let the U.S. take the lead. We saw President Trump's summits and whatever. Is it time for other countries and the Council to take the lead? No, no. I think we just need results. Uh, we need uh, compliance with Security Council resolutions. Uh, there hasn't been results in the recent years. The only thing you can... Uh, witness is the continuation of proliferation both uh, on the nuclear track and the ballistic track and it needs to stop before it's too late. Should the Secretary, okay. Ge should the Secretary General get more involved? 